lists in python part 2 traversal of a list or accessing list elements and operations on a list so first let us discuss how to access the list elements or we can say how to traverse a list so basically there are certain similarities between a list and a string so like we access each character in the string with index number in the same way the list elements are also accessed with the help of index number the len function the indexing the slicing the membership operators in not in and concatenation operator plus and the replication operator these are common in string as well as in the list coming on to accessing each and every element of the list let's say we define a list vowels so this is the list vowels and it contains the members or elements a e i o u so as in the case of strings the index starts from zero so here in the list also the index starts from zero so if i write vowels and zero then i will get a because at zero index number a member is present similarly if i write vowels 4 then i am going to get u because a is at 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 and then 4 so u will come at index number 4 like in string we have negative index in the same way in list also we have the negative index so negative index will start from minus 1 so u will be minus 1 then minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5 so if i write vowels minus 1 then i am going to get first character from the backward direction first list member from the backward direction that is u and if i write vowels minus 5 then i will get the a element of the list because from backwards if we check then minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and minus 5. A is at minus 5. First we will study joining lists. So let us say I define a list then a second list and if I apply the concatenation operator that is the plus operator between both the list then I am going to get one single list that will be containing all the elements from list 1 as well as list Two. We can also write as list 3 is equal to list 1 plus list 2. So in this way we will get list 3 the name also. So if we want to print that list or if we want to use this list somewhere then we can use it with the name of list 3. Now if I write list 1 plus 2 so this will give error because when anything other than a list is added to a list it will give you error if you write list plus any string then this will also be error so this with this we can conclude that a list can be concatenated only with a list the next list operation is repeating or replicating list so if I write list 1 asterisk 3 so I will get the same list 3 times so the list elements of list 1 were 135 so 135 will appear 3 times the last list operation is slicing the list so uh, list slices like string slices are the sub part of a list extracted out so we can use the index of list elements to create list slices. Now if I write LST and start index is 3 and end index is minus 3. So in this case I am going to get 20, 22 and 24. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. So at 3 index we are getting 20. So the list will start from 20 
and then it will continue up till minus 3. So how we are going to check minus 3? This is minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. So 30 is coming at minus 3. But one less value we have to take. So minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4. That is 24. So we always move from left to right. So now starting at index number 3 and going up till index number minus 4. So 20, 22 and 24. So if we see the index number, it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So if I give a value upper limit that is out of bound. So if I write LST 3 colon 30. So 3 index is present but index 30 is not present. So in this case till the last index number the members will be picked. Similarly if I write LST minus 15 colon 7. So in this case, what is returned? Python returns elements from list falling in range minus 1 onwards and less than 7 index number. Now if I write LST 0 colon 10 colon 2. So in this case, 0 is the start, 10 is the stop and 2 means include every second element. So here, we will start from 0, so 10, then 14, then 22, and then 30 and 34. Now another example is if the start and stop is not given and only the character is given, that which character has to be taken. So in this case, the index will start from 0 and go up till length minus 1 and every third element will be picked. So 10, then 20 and then 30. Now if I write list 5 colon colon 2. So at index 5 we are having 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So at fifth index number we are having 24 and every second character. So membership operators are in and not in. So suppose I have a list and if I write 1 in L then this will return true because one element is present in L. Now if I write 6 in L then I will get false because the 6 element is not present in L. If I write 8 not in L then this will return false because 8 is present in L. And if I write 9 not in L, then this will be true because 9 is not present in L.